Anthony Evans. Anthony, what are you doing here? You got like forty dollars. You got like forty dollars worth of pocket tick. So what? That's twenty, what I, that's twenty what dollars I was, uh, each. You're spending all morning here. What that's are you what doing? I was understand. I didn't understand you, Honor. Um, I usually pay him. I just the car is no longer operational. How many pocket tickets do you think you've had? I said, oh gosh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> probably about eighty. <laughs> eighty. Yeah. He thinks he had eighty parking tickets then. It's probably more than that. I'm just he had hundred and one. Is it? Yeah, that was close. <laughs> hundred and one. Okay. These are overnight parking tickets. Get yourself a parking spot. Yeah, I'm uh the car's no more uh longer operational and I'm no more no longer in that I'm in the shelter uh rescue mission. Oh, you're not working? No, I'm working but I, I'm homeless. How long is that going on? Uh, about three months. Yeah. Roughly. It's a bad time to. Are you alone? Be homeless. You have, you have any family? <laughs> um, I'm a. I was a. I was adopted, so. Generally, no, no. Have Martino come out. <clears throat> Good morning, Martino. Good morning, Judge. All right, Martino. I, I asked you to come out for a very special reason. This is Anthony Evans. Anthony Evans has. Thank you two overnight parking tickets, right? And in the past, he's had 101 parking tickets. Now, Anthony at the present time indicates to me that he's homeless. You're homeless right now? Yes, I am, yeah. You said something earlier that in your earlier life, you were adopted, right? Yes, I was. And my foster mother, uh, my adopted mother had passed away. Um, so her family members were particularly not my family members in their own, you know, demeanor. Okay. There's a reason why I called Martino out here. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But first of all, uh, Martino, would you tell us wh what you do and what you do for charity? And, uh, and then I want, to t I, want to help you. I want to talk about this case. But in the meantime, introduce yourself so people get a good sense of who you are. So I have a charity called wigsandwishes.org and we grant wigs and wishes to women and children battling cancer with no red tape. We do about 25,000 women a year to give them the gift of looking cancer free. And we grant wishes for children last minute, last minute wishes with, uh, you know, we do whatever it takes to make them smile while they can. Well, awesome. I know you're doing God's work and you're very charitable and very philanthropic and just, you just, very special person, so I want you to know Thank that you. it's a pleasure to be your friend. But maybe you can tell us a little bit about your life. I know you said you were adopted. Tell us about, did you ever find out who your adopted parents, I who searched. your real mother was and all of that? Tell, sure. us, tell us the story. So um, when I was 11, well, I knew I was adopted my whole life. My mom told me when I was really little, you were special and I chose you. But when I was 11, there was a movie that came out called An American Tale. And it was about a little mouse that lost his family. And the moral of the story was never say never. And at the end, he found his family. So my whole life, I was sat before judges and attorneys and celebrities and lawyers. And nobody wanted to give me the time of day to help me. And then one day, somebody you, who doesn't wear... A, you, you were in search of trying to find out who, for your, 22 years. who your parents were. Yes, Your Honor. Who your mother was. Correct. And one day I sat before somebody who didn't wear a badge under their robe. They wore a heart. And I found my birth mother and I found my birth father. And I had a great relationship with him for 13 years before he passed away. I think you just, I think you just touched Anthony. It's pretty, pretty similar, Yana. So what do you think I should do with the case, this case, Martino? Originally, I wanted you to teach him a lesson because he had over 100 tickets already. <laughs> but after you told me he was adopted, I want to put my mask on and give him a hug. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to charge you $40, but you're not going to pay it. Right? I'm going to pay this, pay this $40 out of a, a fund I call the Philomena Fund. And we're talking about mothers. My mother's name was Philomena. And people send in charitable donations to this court for me to use my discretion to help people I think are in need. And you've touched me in many different ways as well as touching Martino. And so we're gonna use the $40 from that fund to pay for your ticket. 
Thank you, Your Honor. So it will not cost you anything? Thank you, Your Honor. Are you, so have you found out who your mom is, your real mom? My mother passed away um, before I could ever, ever meet her. And I'm currently trying to seal a relationship with my father, who's out in Maryland. So, well, we wish you the best. We wish you the best. Thank you. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of us take for granted our situation in life, and it's listening to listening to stories. Martino's is very compelling, and yours right. as well. Yes. And Martino, any advice you want to give him before we leave? Yes. Your Honor, I would like to help you reconcile your relationship with your father, okay. if it's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Good luck to both of you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, brother. You're all set, Anthony. All Good set. luck. Thank you, Your Honor. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Thank you, you too. You as well. Thank you. Take care.